The GoPro ran out of juice the last time I was out here with it. But here we go, the big reveal. Yeah, look at that. So you got the heads on, and the whole bottom end's buttoned up. Need to do the timing, get the timing cover on, get the lifters in, and get the push rods, get the rockers on. Okay, assembly lube on the tips of the valves and on the push rods. And then assembly lube on the pedestal and the rocker. Now we're putting in the bridge and the bridge bolts. There we go, there's the other bolt. Now I'm doing them up finger tight but using a socket. And now this is just snugging it down. This is not being torqued yet. Now it's being torqued. There we go. And the other side too. Beauty. Nice, now we're, all of them are done. So we're going to do a test revolution. Make sure there's no binding, clicking, banging. And around she goes in two full revolutions. Great. So this is where we got to last night. Is I got all of the rockers and bridges on. These are all brand new cleavites, new old stock, made in America. Uh, new comp cam push rods. And I got the lifters in, they're Lunati lifters. There's your Lunati cam. Got the Lunati double roller timing set in. Um, I'm gonna check that the gasket sits and matches properly. Maybe have to modify it a little bit. And then I'm gonna look at installing the intake manifold as well. Now, got the turkey tray matched up. It was slightly misaligned. You can actually see it quite badly here. So I just touched this up with the Dremel to get everything to match uh, But this is the exhaust heat riser crossover. So this was a paint scraper And I cut the blade off they're made of stainless steel so that'll go in there But it's also going to be held down with some ultra copper on both sides Okay, now we're going to shellac around the intake ports And I'm not going to bore you by making you watch me shellac every intake port. Let's fast forward a bit there. Oh, there we go. Last port. Okay, there is the turkey tray. Now you're going to see me right where my finger is, that is the guide hole. So there's a hole in the head that that will line up with and it will snap in. There we go. And now some more shellac. And let's time warp that again. Yoink! Okay. And there is some black RTV around those rear ports because those are water jackets and it needs sealing up. And here comes the intake manifold. Very gently align that. There we go. And then can tighten in the bolts. That's just going down very, very loose. And this is actually the final check to make sure everything was torqued down. Yep, all of these are ready to spec. Okay, nice. Moving on. And more shellac, this time for the timing cover. And now, I'm going to put a little bit of oil onto the chain so that it's pre-lubricated. And you know what? I enjoy using this oil can. It always makes me feel like I'm working on the Tin Man and he's going to protect me on my way to see the wizard. 
It's gonna give me some shoes. Send me home. There we go. Now goes the gasket. Nice. Oh, and when you're assembling, don't forget to put the eccentric for the fuel pump or the oil slinger for the crank snout there. And that is a new reproduction uh, timing cover. And we're just about to run out of electricity, but that is everything buttoned up with a temporary water pump. Uh, that one is not remaining. That's just to hold everything in place whilst the shellac set.